Hi, Gemini. Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Gemini, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see it's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today. And a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. Wow, nature, right? You got six of cups and you also have the hangman. Nature, right now, source is telling you that there's a vacation coming your way, some sort of dream vacation. You're going to be gifted some tickets. So right now, expect someone to say, hey, I can't go on this trip. Would you like to go instead? And right now, you're going to be gifted these tickets, and you're going to go on some sort of dream vacation to get out of your environment, and you're going to get a lot of downloads, insights, and clarities. And I also do see here you're going to meet some people there, which is great. A lot of networking collaborations. Maybe you'll meet that special someone, or maybe it's a business relationship. But I do see here your angels want you to dream big, to conquer big, and to get out of your setting because you're going to get a lot of new downloads, and that's what they're looking for they want like a like a breath of fresh air into your life they want a, a rebirth like a phoenix coming out the ashes now what's really going on here you got the five of swords and the seven of swords the reason they want this is because there's a jam signal between you and spirit and they're having a hard time communicating with you you got to find beauty and simplicity to clear the signal now what is going on here whenever we're caught up on planet earth which is fear stimulation and chaos turn on the news let me know what it says right whenever we're caught up in that energy it's the exact opposite of the energy of the fifth dimension which is the energy you need in order to be able to tap into the stream of consciousness and listen to your angels. So for example, your angels are like, go here and meet your soulmate. Do this to get a promotion. You're not hearing it. Why? Because we're caught up in social media. We're caught up in bills. We're caught up in whatever. So source is telling you to find joy and simplicity, right? When you do this, your life gets effortless. So for example, when I'm washing the dishes to find joy, I throw on some headphones, I listen to some music. When I am driving, I hit traffic, I throw on some headphones, or I just, you know, uh, listen to an audiobook or a podcast. But I try to find joy in simplicity, running errands, you know, having conversations, anything, right? Because that really helps clear the energy and you're not so go, go, go. Because whenever you don't do that, you're always focused on something else, right? And that makes it very difficult. Now, look at this. You got judgment and the queen of pentacles. And this is a gentle reminder from your angels and guides that money is your birthright and you are meant to be rich. And right now, source is telling you in order to get this, celebrate small victories on the way. Give yourself a pat on the back. You know, embrace this. Celebrate the wins before they happen. All of these will bring joy, excitement, bliss, passion in your life. And that is the frequency that will attract money to you. Money is a byproduct of being happy, not the other way around. The majority of time we've been taught on planet Earth to say, I will be happy when I make money doesn't work like that. If that worked, where's all the money? The strategy is flawed. You have to tell yourself, I'm going to do things that make me happy. When I'm happy, I'm going to clear my energy. I'm going to get downloads. I'll know how to start businesses. I know if I should go back to school. I know how to talk to my boss for promotion. And at that work, at that point, money will be a byproduct for me not overthinking. You see where I'm going with this? So right now, Source is telling you, in order for you to get what you're looking for, the things in your life that are not simple, right? Anything you're multitasking, anything you're forcing, efforting, 80-20 rule, cut it out. You're making 20%, you're making 80% of your results right now doing 20% of the things. Like you might have, you know, eight, 10 different customers at work, but only two of them are really paying the bills. What should you do there, right? Cut out the other eight, focus on the two. It may sound like it's like impossible, but it's not. 80-20 rule, look it up on Google. It works every single time. All right, now let's see what else we got. We got rest, adventure. Look at that. Unity, guidance, freedom, and manifestation. Your manifestation is going to bring you financial freedom, the freedom to say, I'm not coming to work anymore, the freedom to say, I am flying first class. This will happen through progress and not perfection. So for example, your angels and guides are telling you, you are going to manifest exactly what you're looking for, but you can't be looking for perfection or else you will never take the leap of faith. If you're trying to be perfect in business, you will never start one. If you're trying to be perfect in romance, you will never ask someone on a date. You have to learn the way on the way. When I was going to start on my Amazon businesses, at first I was very intimidated. Then I told myself, what's the worst that could happen? If I should be so lucky to be wrong, because if you're wrong, that means you just figured out how to be right and it's going to get better than it was before. Think of that. If you are wrong, that means your life is about to get better. That's not a bad thing. Don't fear it, right? So right now, Source is telling you to let go of what you don't control, which is, you know, perfection, and really embrace what you do control, which is your thoughts, behaviors, choices, opinions, feelings, intuition, right? All of those things. Now, you also have the chariot and the queen of wands. 
Your angels and guides are telling you that you have that queen of wands, energy, ambition, charismatic, you know, a vibration, very passionate. But what's going on is there's lots of, a lot of action is being taken, but it's not inspired action. You're doing stuff because you feel like you just have to do it. Like, for example, like you're going to a job that, you know, might pay the bills, but you're not inspired to be there. But right now you're in a relationship that, you know, you know each other, but it's not romantic. Source is telling you that you need inspired action. You need to be excited for what you're doing. You need to be excited for the clothes you wear, excited for the food you eat, excited for the shows you watch, very excited for the conversations that you have very very important guys you cannot have conversations about dumbing yourself down like for example i don't like sports right i don't like basketball i don't care the only sport i watch is martial arts so whenever i'm in you know a, a group setting and there's people talking about sports i don't even entertain the conversation anymore i just let people talk and i listen and i do my thing i don't pretend to do something i don't want because us empaths are always people pleasing right that really does not help you same thing here source is telling you you got bigger fish to fry you got unity you got adventure right now you are meant to go travel with your friends and family you're meant to go see the world you're meant to really like your vibrations attract your tribe right your vibes attract your tribe this is such, such a beautiful time in your life when you take that focus that's outward and turn it inwards right when you want if you want to be confident like ask yourself this every cool character in a movie what are they doing right are they like looking around when they walk into a restaurant or are they walking in their cool calm and collective doing them and everyone's just magnetically drawn to them exactly that's all you gotta do Find someone that you embrace. Like, for example, growing up, I always looked up to James Bond, right? So anytime, like, and this is like when I'm a kid, right? I didn't know how to talk to girls. I didn't know how to act. I didn't have any of those sort of mentors. So in order to figure out how to be in life, I literally copied James Bond. I told myself, well, how would James Bond act? James Bond acts like a gentleman. How would James Bond carry himself? Poison grace, right? I learned a lot of stuff from James Bond. Now, who do you like? Maybe like... Who knows? Maybe like Marilyn Monroe. Maybe you like uh, Princess Diana. Who knows, right? Maybe you like uh, Rihanna. Who cares, right? Who, who, there's no right or wrong answers. Whoever's awesome in your eyes is awesome in the world's eyes. Everyone is awesome to be. Now, very important, before we go, you got guidance and four cups. And this is your angels and guides telling you that if you get a chance right now to really do a little bit of meditation, do a little bit of inner child work, do so because your inner child is yearning to come out. Your inner child is trying to give you a message. Your inner child is either feels unsafe or wants a little bit of attention. And um, one visualization technique I do is I always visualize myself holding Vince's hand at six years old, my inner child. And I tell myself, hey, everything's cool. Don't worry. I'm your older brother. You never have to worry about nothing again. And I will take care of you. And when I do this, I feel this. Ah, sigh of relief and fear leaves me. And now it's easy for me to take the leap of faith. So if you're telling yourself like, what's going on? Why am I procrastinating? Why am I hesitating? Why do I feel like I'm stuck? It's really just because your inner child is scared. Your inner child. And the moment you tell it, listen, we're cool here. You never got to worry about nothing again. I am here now. You're going to feel a sense of relief like you've never felt before. And man, does it feel good. It's like taking off a weighted vest and uh, just give it a try. Just visualize it and uh, let me know how that goes. All right, Gemini. Excuse me, let us get some money and some love into your life. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section in Quantum Tangle with abundance. Feel the words as you write them. Feeling is the secret, okay? This is how you ignite them. Very, very important. So write down the following affirmation. Oh, I love this one. I imagine myself living my ideal life. This is you visualizing, meditating, journaling. I imagine myself living my ideal life. This is you commanding, assuming, expecting, becoming, becoming the cause and effect. I imagine myself living my ideal life. Let the universe know you are ready for abundance by writing that down in the comment section. All right, now final message from your spirit guides. See what your spirit guides want you to know. All right, so final message. Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. Never regret love, no matter how blind it improved your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser, and no matter how generous it made you more. Love, love is the way it's it. The angels are telling you, don't love with your guard up, right? Like, for example, if someone hurt you in the past, don't think someone else will. Imagine you dated someone and they cheated on you. Rather than be like, the next person I date, I'm not going to give them the chance to do that. No, no, no. That person did nothing to you. It's your, it's your ex who has, you know, demons to deal with that did that. No, hurt people, hurt people. So right now, source is telling you, like, my role in life is what I need someone my guard is down i show love i'm like hey how you doing i'm vince now if the love is reciprocated great if it's not at that point i tell myself this person is not you know where they want to be in life clearly and i am not going to judge them and but i'm also not going to participate in shenanigans so uh, adios you know what i'm saying so right now source is telling you never cast the first stone love and if someone doesn't show it back it just means they're not ready but they will be down the road right 
All right, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.